fine. I just feel like there's something I need to do up here. It's fine. Healed man. Oh, he's gonna be so spooked. Oh. That's sad. Whatever. I'll see you in a second, old man. Oh, really? Stuffing turtle? That's awesome! I don't know. Maybe we will host one one day. The only thing is, we wouldn't be able to talk to chat in the process of it. That's the only thing I worry about with the D&D &D one. Thank you for the host, turtle. I don't know if I thanked you. Um, true. That's what I'm saying. I asked you about fire spark. The postal service? Wait, Vonk made you think of the postal service? Interesting. Pandar, is that you? If I recall correctly, today you are the same age as the legendary hero. When did you get so old? You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles. You have to come at the perfect moment. I was just trying my roll attack. Allow me to teach you. Are you ready? Just run as fast as you can and press A. That is how you perform rolling attack. Uh, if you think you understand, then try to roll into the wall. Go on, young one. I got it. Oop. I got it. I did it. Such a racket! Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan! <laughs> ah, my brother upstairs is very high-strung. His is the way of the knowledge. He locks himself in his room and studies all day. He is quite wise, but with that big head of his... He is hardly accommodating. On top of that, he is so very feeble. At times, I am ashamed to call him my brother. But enough of that, Pandor. I sense the natural talent that beats in your veins. But you need more than talent to make it in the world today. You must also be bold. And to that end, I shall teach you the art of swordplay. What say you? Do you wish to practice your skills with the sword? Yeah, yeah, sure. Ooh. All good. Yeah, I mean, if you did them in smaller patches, that would actually help a lot. Um, I don't retain all the information from the big old ones, but I gotcha, I gotcha. That's pretty good. I like it, I like it. Gonna have to take off early morning start. Catch you all and enjoy the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out, Turtle. Have a good day. Bye. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Okay. B. B. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, very good. Na, 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 na. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold ZL to target me, then press B. Keep swinging. Very good. Next is the thrust. Target with ZL and then tilt L toward me and press B. Come at me. Thrust with your sword. Very good. Keep thrusting. <laughs> good. That is enough.
interesting. I'd like to see a drawing of this, uh, of, of candy cane. Sounds very interesting. And his favorite food is apples. Oh, him and Ryuk would have that in common. <laughs> it is as I foresaw. One day you shall become a master of the sword. But it is still too soon to give you a sword to carry around with you. I'm afraid I cannot give you one yet. If I did give you one, I am quite certain your grandmother would be upset with me. And I do not need that. But if for any reason you feel the need for more training, then come see me again. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Got juked. I can't see anything. There we go. Oh! Well, when you do, ha let me know when you post it. Or just like post it and check this out. I'm excited. Oh my god, Django. How did I know? So soon? My, my, my. If you were already old enough to be wearing these clothes, then it is going to be very important you gather as much wisdom as you can from now on. If you're going to make your way in this world, that is, Pandora. No, I've been studying a wealth of topics since a long before you were born. I'm what you'd call a brain of all trades. You're a smart fellow yourself, aren't you? I've been thinking it's time for me to pass down some of my wisdom. And maybe you're the one I should pass it down to. Everything you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. And knowing leads to knowledge. Such a bracket! Can you keep quiet? <laughs> I like this whole tantrum thing. Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who legit lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day, this lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. The brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot, as if that's any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to use anything besides exercise, I ask you. What's a brother to do? <laughs> and energy drinks. I'm not sure if I'm even healthy for you. Django, of course you couldn't be unhealthy for me. Part-time apple farmer. He's violent warmonger, but he does like to be violent. He likes to like mushrooms. Oh. I like it, though. <laughs> Who's pastor? I'm not Django. I'm, I'm I'm a good panda. Just like you're all good innocent pandas. Don't lose the pandas. Uh, Certain one time or one point lessons. Lesson one: the energy of life. To be young is to know limits to one's stamina. To become stronger, one must first know oneself. Hearts, life energy, trials, gain more hearts. Uh, injuries give you damage on hearts, and those will decrease temporarily. Cool. Do not underestimate sea, swept up in swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't really need to read any of these, because I have played this twice-ish. Okay, but like, no. I'm not reading these anymore. This is stupid. Thanks, dude. Bye. I'm 
I'm sure you already know all about the game. I don't. I just know the basics, the tutorial shit. Do, do, do. Time to go get my sister. Do, 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 do. This is Booger Boy. Stop following me around, Booger Boy! You're a Zelda pro. I'm not a Zelda pro. I've only finished one Zelda game. What do you mean? Well, good luck here. Lol. Ah! Oh, hi, big brother! Did Grandma take- make that outfit for you? But wow! You look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Pandora, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm gonna give you my most treasured belonging. But just for one day. Happy birthday! You got a telescope. This is your sister's most precious treasure. <laughs> I can use words. Wait, you made a death counter? Oh no. I hope you didn't. I really hope you didn't make a death counter. Uh, I hope that was a joke. Please don't give me a death counter. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow the special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out now? Right now. Try looking over at our house from here. What the fuck are you on about? Hmm. I will do this. But... Don't be playing any weird shit. Actually, I'll put that there, actually. Oh. Big brother! Are you looking at the house? Let's zoom in. Fucking. It's a mailman. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? That's rude. Ha, huh, Panda, look up in the sky! What's up? Oh no. Here, don't push it, please. I don't want a death counter. Don't sass him into a death counter. We have about 35 minutes now, guys. Pandar, this is so terrible! That girl fell into the forest! She needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. I got this. I'm a pro. Well, oh, hold on. I'm wearing a hero's garb, so this shit was bound to happen. Oh no! Sometimes it's just easier to fall on your ass. You know what I mean? You have work at five? Yep. I'm running overnighter tonight, so I'm gonna be working for... 11 hours again. <laughs> and the bird is dead. Ah. Hi, Granny. Pandor, what's the matter? What's happened? 
How do you know, Grandma? Grandma's intuition. Poor Pandora. Poor Panda. Panda? Yeah, Panda. Yeah. Wait. Come on now. Okay. I get it. Defend yourself with sword first. That's stupid. Oh, yikes. Good luck with the overnighter. Hope it'll go all right. And you'll have a bit of fun. It'll go well. Thanks, though. I appreciate that. Overnighters are my favorite event. Even if it is kind of busy and hectic. Oh, you hate it. One of the two possibilities. True. But it's okay. It'll be good. You well behaving citizen something. What did you, what did you ask, Sybil? Wait. That's the pig lady. Come on now. Come on now. We're not this bad. I haven't taken any fall damage yet, and I have to wonder if that's because I haven't fallen from high enough, or if there's actually not fall damage. It's just imaginary. There's definitely fall damage, from what I remember. Yeah. Lone Ruin is fun, you're... Oh, what is the matter, Pandor? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it's no laughing matter. What say you, Pandor? Ah, have you come for some serious instructions in the way of the sword? No, I just, I need... Sword can do good or evil, it reflects the heart of one who uses it, but I cannot ha Oh, ah, fuck, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. I just did this. Fuck. Wait. Okay. Good. Happy birthday, Robin! Woo! Very good. Whoops. Keep swinging. Okay, but like, I was trying and you're in this weird corner where my camera's doing some weird shit. Um, briefly, build up your strength and release it. Okay, this is stupid. Whoops. Hello? Is it, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I had to have my sword out. Wait, what? Are you fine? But I did. Whatever. Oh. Okay. Greetings. Maybe you sh should draw your sword. That's fair. Very good. Now finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword. Target and press A. I'm very good at this one. This may be the only one I like ever use. Whoops. That was a fine display. And yet I cert... I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. 
I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Pandor. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Since the olden days, the sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Pandor. Yeet. Yeet, master. Wait, can I? Can I? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Stabbo. Stabbo El Grabo. Stabbo El Grabo for sure. I didn't really have the very end of that song. I just, I just wanted. Oh, look at you. What was that noise? It was awful. You'd better return home quickly. A sound like that can only mean trouble. You know what I'd do if trouble came my way? I'd throw rocks to fight it off. You could handle that, couldn't you? It's easy. Just stand in front of a rock, press A to lift it, and press A again to throw it. If you want to set the rock back down, press ZR. Do you understand? Well. Sure. Fourth wall aside, sure. What is that thing you have on your back? Why are you carrying such a dangerous thing like that around? Can I get my sword now? Or my shield now? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we get the shield when we come back. Bye, Grandma. I'm gonna go save some people. <laughs> Why do you look so concerned, Grandma? I'm just growing into my garb. Cuz, I love shields! Excuse me? What is the one character I play in Overwatch? You take that back, Django. I love shields. That's a whole pirate ship. And what if I don't? I'll be very sad. Mm hmm So when I played through before, I made sure to cut all the grass just to kill Caitlyn internally. <laughs> it's pretty funny. She's like, can you just go and play the game? And I was like, no, I have to cut every every single bra grass. Every single blade of grass. Everyone. She's like, there's so much grass in this game. And I'm like, yeah, I bet there is. Yeah, I bet there is, Caitlyn. I know, right? Nah, I disagree. Ooh, I want to hear some stories. I'm assuming you're talking about Estri, huh? Ha 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 ha! Of course, of course, I'm interested. What? Hmm, missed. Hmm. Well, what did you say? Increase, increase your fortune. Cut grass down. Every grass? Okay. I'll do that. It's four twenty. Lol. Let's get rid of these pesky trees. They're just in my way. These ones too. I don't know why they're in my way. I don't know how they're in my way, but I'll cut them down. Woo! 
Excuse me. Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's fight you. Let's. Ooh. Give. Ooh, I saw a red rupee. Whoop, 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 whoop. <sighs> Gotta love those rupees. Captain Obvious, Captain Clock. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe myself? Who knows? Anyways, tell me estuary stories. I need to know. Did I come from the right way? Oh, no, I'm supposed to be going this way. I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. Yeah. The fairy mountain site. The spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy mountain. Fountain? I read that wrong twice. An ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after the battle so the fairies would ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived there was blessed with great fortune, so it came to be known as the Fountain of Good Fortune Goddess. The good isn't there, though. <laughs> I just can't read lately, guys. I'll get used to it, but... Um, well, Estri's wrong. I would just make a very good villain. I could do the selfish deeds that I need to do, but I'm also going to save everyone along the way. I wouldn't call myself a hero, but I wouldn't really call myself a villain, you know what I mean? I'll steal some shit, though. As long as it's from, like, a major corporation or an asshole. Somebody who's terrible. Oh, well, thank God enemies, Bond. I did it. Oh, oops. I did it. Look at me go. I got all of them. Let's wait until she reaches her final form. You're right. Hey, you dropped something. <laughs> Your dignity. How would you? Wow, what's with the get-up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. The giant bird came in. Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So the bird dropped me on the top of the mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. Not true, Jer. Or sorry, not, not true, Sybil. <laughs> Hi, Nestri! It's good to see you! But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on! <laughs> Hi, big friend!
brother! Ha! <laughs> My symbol. Damn it. I've been playing a symbol so long. I'm switching up names. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You mean role playing as Estri for so long that you're switching up names? Or as Sybil and like you're used to Estri. Uh, stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone and there's nothing you can do! Woohoo! We can keep the telescope! Oh my god, that's terrible. That's my sister! She gone! What? You want to come with us on our ship? Yeet. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates. The terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel, with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Would you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I meant to say is that if you, big bad pirates, hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor little girl wouldn't have been snatched away by the bird. <laughs> and just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I've spent much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that the young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Oh. <coughs> Always try to see the positive aspect. Oh no. Exactly that, gosh. As soon as I appear, everything goes wrong for him. It's like I bring bad luck. Maybe. Well, it sucks to be her, I guess. That's rude. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Pandor here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Uh, oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Pandora's sister has made its foul nest in the north on the heights of For Forsaken Fortress. Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Pandora a little help now, would it? Huh. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it. Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. I can't possibly... Oh, you can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a little cheap sword. It's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this should have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what. If you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, we won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. That's rude. This bird boy isn't dumb. Um... 
So what's this little tale about? Which tale? The Zelda tale? It's, it's about Zelda. And... Yeah, like, Zelda's like... Zelda's... I was about to make a Zelda joke here, but I physically can't even word it. <laughs> One of those generic... Uh, Zelda's, like, the guy or whatever, mixing it up. The last R page in my dictionary is missing. That's weird. But also, maybe you tore it out. It's not rude! Yes, this Zelda tale. Yeah, it's a long tale. You'll just have to buckle up, dude. Ooh! The epitome of it, huh? I have... A few preparations to do before heading out. So, we're gonna grab this shield and we're gonna save and quit for the day, unfortunately. I really, really wish I could stream more, guys, but I can't. And something in regards to this tale. Also, you know I'm more female, right? What do you mean more female? <laughs> Just be aware that when you get here, you are gonna hear a lot of, hey, I saw you on stream. Yay! That's okay. Look, I, I enjoy the fact that, I enjoy when people watch me on stream. It makes me really happy. I'm saving real quick before we talk to grandma. Have a birthday. I hope everyone at the Forge knows it's your birthday already, because everyone's gonna know. What is it, Pandora? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? She, is she still playing outside with the ghosts? Aw, Grandma! Grandma! I wish she was outside playing with the ghosts. She not. <gasps> it gone! <laughs> Pandora? <clears throat> Pandor. Is this what you're looking for? Grandma, how'd you know? Take it with you. Yeah! <laughs> that face, though. I guess it's true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? I mean, I call everyone dude. I'm a dude, he's a dude, she's a dude, we're all dudes. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. That being said, it's good to know. What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Grandma cries. Oh, Grandma's so worried. This poor thing. Oh, Errol. Oh, Errol. What if you lose both of your... Whatever. Oh, look at this little family picture. Look at us. We're so cute. Yeah, the camera angle is a lot more natural. I was kind of testing it out a little bit. Jesus. Django, come on now. She's grandma. It's her job to be worried. No, it's mean. The title screen. We're actually just going to turn this off for now, unfortunately. Alrighty, guys. Do this, turn on the music. I'm gonna start this over. Okay. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I really appreciate you. 
It's been a wonderful week. Um, we've gotten through Kingdom Hearts 3, which is wonderful. We've gotten to play the beginning of Odin Sphere, Life... Life Tresser. Life Tresser? Life Tresser? Mm, Life Tresser? Ah, Life Tresser. That's what you said. Um, that being said, it's been a wonderful week. I hope to see you guys next week where we'll be playing way more Wind Waker because I am really feeling this as a streaming game. It's really fun. Life Tresser? Life Tresser? Tresser? Life Tresser. Leaf Tresier, Leaf Tresier, whatever. I'm bad at pronouncing things, I know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna play a lot more Wind Waker next week. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, and maybe I can get through another Zelda game, but Wind Waker is a huge game, so uh, it'll take a while. Um, let me know if you have any game suggestions. Uh, I might put up a poll of the different games I wanna play so that we can get a feel for what kind of games you guys want to watch me play. Um, aw, it's been wonderful. It's all good. Um, there's not too, too much to, to roleplay as yet, as you're, like, still developing her. Not a big deal. Um, it was wonderful to meet Sybil, though. Um, I do look forward to it in the future. A special thank you to Blitzcaps for the follow. I didn't even realize you followed. Thank you so much. Uh, Blitzcaps, thank you. Uh, that was actually the person that we raided two days ago. Or, not yesterday, the day before. Yeah. Um, thank you to Django. For the host, thank you to Stubborn Turtle for the host. Very, very, very much appreciate it. Aw, nice. I guess he didn't off did it off stream. Yeah, weird though. Like he did it fairly soon to when I was gonna stream in a weird way because it was five hours. I guess it wasn't. It was like five hours ago would have been like what twelve thirty for me. It's four thirty now. Oh, wait, no, no, my math is really bad. Would have been 11.30 for me. That's what I meant to say, but it, it didn't, it didn't happen that way. Okay, let's see who we can raid, guys. Um, hmm. Is there anyone you guys recommend? Otherwise, I think I'm gonna raid El Moons. Um... I don't, I'm not sure we've raided El Moons before, but I think she'd be a good person. We'll see. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone have a wonderful day. Is it, how do you spell it? El Moons. And stick around for at least saying hello for to El Moons. And, you know, if you have nothing else to do, maybe keep her up, meet your tab, uh, give her that extra view because streaming is not easy. Uh, looks like Elmins doesn't actually have a webcam on right now, but that's all, all good. She's playing Apex Legends. Um, so yeah. Uh, um, wait. Are you, hold on. Um, what are they playing right now? Control. Uh, can you keep me, keep that person in mind for next time? I guess I preemptively made a decision. Uh, but I do want to actually get around to rating this person that you're talking about. Um, feel free to have rage suggestions ready for me, um, you know, as we do this sort of thing. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys probably on Monday. We'll see. But hopefully on Monday. Good luck. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I love you. Be good pandas in the meantime. And I will see you guys next time. I love you so much. Thank you so much for your support. I can't wait to play more Wind Waker, I'll be honest. I like really want to be playing this right now, but it's all good. It happens. Have a good day, guys. I love you. Bye.